Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Mind 24 7 and today I'm going to be talking about the four stocks that I'm buying for December 2017. So the first stock that I have in my portfolio, these are going to be the four stocks that I'm buying that are in my portfolio. Number one is McDonald's. So guys, if you haven't heard about McDonald's, you are late to the party. It's one of the best fast food chains in the entire world. It is a global brand. I mean, McDonald's is all around the world. It's a really secure, great blue chip stock to have in your portfolio. And that is definitely one I am buying this holiday season because it is such a secure, large company. I mean, they've had great growth this year, continued great growth for many years. And they also pay a pretty nice dividend. I think it's around 2.73% or so. But the dividend yield is actually pretty solid on McDonald's Corporation. I would definitely recommend having them in your portfolio for the blue chip type slot. You know, depending on what type of investor you are. Um, everyone needs a little bit of blue chip in there. So McDonald's is one of the ones that I selected because, hey, I love McChickens. That's why I got the picture here on the left is McChicken. And it's just this really secure company. They've been around for a long time. Definitely quite the company that you could trust in to put that money into. So that's one that I have in my portfolio currently. Honestly, I don't plan on selling McDonald's for years. I mean, I, I plan on keeping McDonald's stock for a long time. It's going to be the similar case with the number two stock in my portfolio and the stocks I'm buying for December 2017. So moving into number two, it is Johnson & Johnson, J&J, &J, another company that has been around for many, many years. If you haven't heard about them, they do uh, lots of lotions and basically anything on the medicine aisle like Tylenol, Band-Aids. Uh, you know, the, the lotions, the babies, Johnson Johnson uh, baby lotion and bat bathing, stuff like that. So as you can see, those are the brands they own. They own a multitude of brands. I mean, Listerine, you, you name it. Johnson Johnson is like the king of that aisle in the shopping uh, store. So this is currently their stock. They've been doing pretty good this year. Um, definitely a very strong, secure company. I personally, they've been a little bit up and down for me in the portfolio, but that's just because I, I haven't bought into them a long time ago. Um, if I had bought into them earlier, you know, I would be doing a little bit better, but you know, they're a strong company they're going to keep going up steadily. It's just that, you know, they, any market fluctuation for them is very minimal. They go up a little, they go down a little. Um, so it's, you can trust your money in them just similarly to, uh, Oops. <laughs> Similarly to McDonald's, um, as you can see. So Johnson Johnson, another one of those really strong, secure companies. That's one that I am buying this holiday season. Uh, moving into number three, you probably saw it there for a second, is Square SQ. So this is one of my more aggressive uh, growth stocks that I have recently, more well, more recently got involved with um, over the past, I think, couple uh, month or so, maybe two months. Um but Square, so if you don't know what they do, they process uh, transactions. I put them into my uh, three stocks that I, to watch for December video as well. If you haven't seen that one, uh, definitely check it out. But this is the stocks I'm buying. So in terms of Square, they handle credit card, debit card transactions for local businesses. They also uh, in have POS systems for local businesses. So... Um, if you go to the Apple website, actually, under iPads, if people want to start a business with an iPad, Square is right there. I'm sure that gets them a ton of business because they're on the Apple website um, for iPads, which is the number one thing that people are going to be using for point-of-sale systems, as you can see in the picture right there with the person swiping with the tablet. Um, so if we take a look at the stock price, it has recently had quite a bit of a dip down. Um, and I, I remember someone commenting on the other video about stocks to watch for December, um, and they were saying like, hey, you know, it just dipped down a lot. Is it still a buy? I think that this is just a market correction because it spiked up. I mean, as you could see, it almost had a um, like a hype. It had a hyper growth period for that week period, as you can see it then right up to the tip and then it just crashed back down uh, and it crashed down quite a bit of percent. But it was more or less just a correction, because if you look at the at the growth from the past like year, where it is now is where it realistically should be based on the market. So it's not it's not like crashing or any sorts. It's just a market correction due to people buying and selling off. Um, and it's back on its normal growth 
state. You know, it, it kind of had a little spike there, but now it's back on its normal growth um, ratio. That is normal because <laughs> that hyper, I think it was hyperbolic. Yeah, that hyperbolic little period, not normal, kind of scary. Uh, it def- definitely scary for me because that's, you know, a little bit before that was when I actually had bought in initially and I was like, ah, freaking out. But it's nothing to be worried about. Honestly, it's just a market correction. That's So that's Square. Definitely one I recommend. It's a more aggressive growth stock, but it is one that is an expanding market within local businesses taking advantage of sales point-of-sale systems and having like their online store and stuff like that as well. So moving into number four is PayPal. This is my favorite stock. I think it's my number one. It should be my number one position if it's not. It's probably within a small percentage of number one position with Square. But PayPal is my favorite, my baby, because PayPal is the king of online transactions. And that is just going to keep increasing. That entire market is going to increase moving into 2018, 2019, 2020. More and more and more and more people are buying online. And not alone just buying online, but also transferring money with Venmo. Now, PayPal has a Venmo business um, section, like a business section within Venmo that they just started. Uh, I think it was a few months ago, and they've been making great profits and revenue from that. Uh, It allows businesses, similarly to Square, to basically accept transactions through Venmo, which allows PayPal another... uh, revenue stream for transactions so not only just paypal um but for business but also venmo business so it's just more and more ways that paypal can bring in more of that transaction money as well as ebay so if you guys are familiar with ebay uh paypal and ebay used to be a company together they have split i think it was two years ago they split um so they still have a partnership but less and less business is reliant on eBay from PayPal. I think I was reading through an article. It said about 15% of the total transactions that PayPal has is through eBay. So it's it's a relatively low percent, um, which is good because you don't want PayPal relying on eBay as their only like profit, um, which it's not. So that's good. It's a good thing. It still brings in a nice chunk of change for them, but it's not... They're, it's not their, they're not only relying on eBay, um, which is probably what they used to do more so in the past, like maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, uh, but they're definitely not like that anymore. So another platform uses PayPal, Shopify. So any Shopify store that you go on, people are going to be activating the PayPal pay feature, which is on the Kylie Jenner. If you guys are familiar with, um, with that store, it's a beauty store pretty much for for women's uh lip glosses and stuff like that and that store does millions of dollars and i'm sure paypal gets a nice little chunk of change from that from not even just that store because it's through shopify and you can pay with paypal on that store but just imagine all the shopify stores that you can pay with paypal on it's it's infinite um almost (laughs) so lots of lots of opportunity there as well as paypal is actually beating a lot of credit card debit card companies not visa and mastercard specifically but some of the smaller ones paypal is actually beating in the online space so that is a really great thing for paypal now of course you guys probably want to see the price right up to about 75 dollars now it is sitting at it has a really solid growth trend for this year similar to other stocks the market's been doing really good this year Um, But PayPal has had a nice bit of growth, very steady, very secure. Uh, I would definitely say a lot more secure than Square in terms of volatility. PayPal is a little bit larger of a company, so there's a little bit more backing there. Um, If you don't want to put your money into Square, if you want to put it more into a a little bit more secure company, I would say PayPal is probably the better move for you. Uh, It's still a very strong uh, growth stock. So, guys, that is number four. That is my portfolio, the stocks I am buying for December 2017. If you guys do not have a stock purchasing app, I definitely recommend Robinhood because it's free stock trading, no commissions on trades. That is the stock app that I personally use. And there's a link down below if you want to get signed up. It does help out the channel. So that's linked down in the description box below if you want to get signed up with Robinhood. But guys, anyway, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing if you have not subscribed already? Subscribe to the dang channel so you get notified for future uploads. 
Anyway guys, that's all for today's video. Hit that like button, comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.